since we have last spoke, actually, a, a document was leaked to me in which uh, OCHA, John Holmes' operation, um, estimated, and they called it a conservative estimate, that uh, 2,683 civilians had been killed, uh, not even all of this year, just from January 20th through March 7th in the conflict zone in Sri Lanka, which mm -hmm. is a high number and, and as, as I think we said last time, is higher than the number in Gaza. Does the UN system have any estimate of the number of civilian casualties caused by either side since this uh, this most recent upsurge in, in in conflict has begun in Sri Lanka? Some say it's well over a thousand, larger than it was in Gaza. What is the number? What, well, we don't what have we don't have estimate? an exact count. Uh, as you know, we have some people uh, from the UN. I just read a note on this: what uh, themselves trapped in that area where the civilians are trapped. Uh, we don't have an overall evaluation. We have no way of knowing uh, what the exact count is. So we, is, that, we, is that something the UN is trying to do? I mean, at what point, I guess, what well, level of yeah, casualties? We're trying to would, save people. Exactly. Right now, what we're trying to do most is not sure. counting bodies, is trying to save the, the living. You know, right now we have been calling for civilians to be allowed to leave uh, the area of fighting. We have been asking that uh, they be able to do so without being harmed in any way, and we have denounced the fact that some of them were shot at and killed. Yeah. Resident coordinator has, has, according to the Sri Lankan government, stepped back from this OCHA figure of 2,683 dead. Said it's not. It's a, it was only meant for donors. What is the? I mean, wh wh how was that prepared? And is that a, a reasonable estimate of the number of civilians killed? You keep on asking me the same question. I've said that, of course, we've had from our own anecdotal sources and the people we've got in the area, we have tried to put together some figures, but we cannot verify those figures. We cannot verify them in such a way that if we make them public as our figures, we can then stand behind them. That remains the position. I've said uh, and repeated several times there were dozens of civilians being killed every day and therefore more than that injured. That is a very high, tragic, and unacceptable number. So the exact figures are not so important. The fact is they are very, very high, probably increasing as, as the, the, the zone increases and the, the density of the population in that area increases. That's the important point. That's why it's key for them to get out. Okay. Uh, we, the meeting is still going on. We've had a very interesting briefing from uh, Under Secretary General Holmes. Uh, sobering briefing, I would say, um, and we have the representative of Sri Lanka uh, also has made some comments. I um, just want to express my government's deep concern um, at the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Sri Lanka. Uh, we are very concerned about the uh, individuals who are trapped between the guns of the government of Sri Lanka and the LTTE. UN estimates, and this is what we were informed of today, are between 150,000 to 190,000 who are trapped in the conflict zone. Uh, we're very concerned uh, that the government of Sri Lanka continues its shelling of areas where there are large numbers of civilians, uh, very close to hospitals, uh, very close to civilian facilities. We uh, understand uh, quite a number of civilian civilians have perished. Um, because of these attacks, we have urged the government of Sri Lanka to uh, cease the shelling uh, near civilian areas. We've had promises, uh, but we need to see results. Um, now, we have also joined others in calling for a humanitarian pause. We think it's absolutely essential in order to get aid in. We have reports from the UN, from aid agencies, about the lack of food, the lack of medicines. It's a very critical situation. So a pause would help, uh, certainly. Uh, now, I just want to address the LTTE. We condemn the LTTE. You know it is designated um, by the U.S. government as a terrorist organization, and we certainly condemn the fact that they use hum civilians as human shields. Um, but we, we've asked and called on them, as others have, to lay down their arms, uh, to uh, renounce violence, to negotiate um, with the government uh, of Sri Lanka, um, we nevertheless feel that in its actions to address this situation, the government of Sri Lanka must pay more attention uh, to protecting the civilian population.
The Secretary General has, I think, publicly said there yes. should be a cessation of hostility. This is the yes. President of Sri Lanka yes. on, the, on the Sri Lankan government website mm -hmm. saying, in his own words, we will not cave into pressure from any international quarter, and we will not stop until the war is completely over. So I, that's why I'm calling it a rejection. I'm saying there was a call for cessation mm -hmm. of hostilities. He's saying, we won't stop. So I'm mm -hmm. asking, what does Ban Ki-moon now say? What has been our, our really our, uh, uh, our point here has been essentially in the fighting is uh, getting uh, some safety for uh, the people who are, as you know, uh, stuck in the area, okay, uh, particularly in the northern area. And we have had, um, I think, some uh, um, response on that. Uh, and I think we, we, have, uh, we have had some, uh, um, you know, information according to which uh, the, uh, they have actually uh, moved out, soldiers have moved out of the camps. And we are trying to get to, to get more about uh, what has happened. We are aware of the, those media reports uh, quoting him about the withdrawal of troops. Uh, we are trying to uh, obtain confirmation about this development. But uh, at this point, what I can say is that we feel we have been getting uh, a little bit ahead in terms of the protection of the civilian population, even though I cannot react on that specific uh, uh, comment by quoting uh, the uh, minister.